Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to use the wipers on your Volvo S80. Now you might have noticed I've been doing a few um, sort of ancillary control videos today, um, or recently. Um, it's just because I think it's useful to get to know these things um, and I'll spread them out through the other content that we've got. But um, yeah, let's take a look at the stalk itself. So as you can see here, we have um, We've got a button here, much like the trip computer stalk. We then have a diagram here, a wheel here, and then a fake button. This button doesn't actually do anything um, on this car. And then you've just got, tells you what the stalk is. Um, so what we'll do is we'll talk you through the different wiper modes um, and give you a demonstration of each one. And then, uh, yeah, just show you guys, explain how it all works. So. This first button here is perhaps the most button, most useful button on the whole thing. If you press this button once, you don't need to touch the thing, the rest of the, the stalk at all. So this is our wiper mode, um, sorry, our automatic wipe sensor. So um, what this does is all the cars are fitted with automatic rain sensing wipers, um, but you have to turn them on in the first place, which is a bit odd. Um, but now you'll notice that we have a logo just here. Um, which tells us that the rain sensing wipers are on. If you press it again, you'll notice that it goes. So that's your telltale sign. Like I said, you have to turn it on every time you get in the car. It won't just come on. Um, and what the car will do, is when you press that on, I'll show you here, um, it will do a wipe of the windscreen to sort of reset the, um, the sensor so it knows that it's completely clear now if you want to use your wipers um, while the rain sensing is on then but you want to take over control manually you can do one quick wipe here and you'll see that the light stays on and it doesn't deactivate the wipers you can also um, spray your windscreen as well and the automatic wipers will stay on now if you take control and put it on intermediate you'll see that the light has now gone off and that means it's deactivated the automatic sensor um, but what it will do and give you full manual control um, so this is the first intermediate speed as you can see here it's um, fairly slow if we go down another one it should get faster like so and then we go down one more and it goes really fast now if we put it on the first notch down, like so, um, we've then got intermediate mode and we can actually change the speed of the intervals between um, between each interval um, just by rotating here. And what's nice is you can hold it from behind, um, the wheel sort of comes out the same on the other side so you can really get a good grip and use it when driving. Um, and yeah, so obviously it's pull as well to uh, spray the windscreen so um, that's another thing um, finally if you want to adjust the sensitivity of the rain sensing wipers make sure the wipers are rain sensing wipers are activated um, obviously having the green light there or the logo there and this will this wheel now becomes a sensor control um, basically to adjust the sensitivity of the sensor which is really nice it's a nice little multifunctional thing so um, yeah that is it guys um, thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know if you've learned anything from this video um, it's funny when you watch videos like this you do learn something even though you've owned the, owned the car for um, years um, so uh, yeah thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video cheers